What up, peeps? Got myself a new car. The poop machine over there. Not me. Not you. <laughs> well, her too. Took a major dump and battery's dead. So first order of business, get a new battery. Nope. One more time. There we go. She runs. She's alive. Alright guys, just wanted to do an update because I haven't really made a video about this yet. Um, bought myself this 190E for very cheap. There's a major issue with the engine. Well, the water pump pulley is very loose and it's shaking around. The fan was attached to it. I went ahead and took off the fan just so that it doesn't disbalance it, off balance it. The cranking of the engine, it cranks over very badly. So it takes me about a good minute to try to get this car running. If it's cold, it's it's very, very hard. I don't have a gas gauge, so I thought at first it was out of gas, filled in gas. Then I thought it was the fuel pump. Check the fuel pumps, they're both working. I looked on the forums and there's this uh, cold start valve. Uh, that Mercedes have that are notorious for getting dirty and they prevent you from starting so I'm just gonna take it apart and see if I can figure that out first and yeah take it one step at a time okay I cleaned out the um, cold start valve but I noticed a lot of other things let me show you all right, so this is that valve. I just cleaned it up. It's been running for a while. All right, it's been running for like five minutes. I'm gonna turn it off and try it again. Seems like it's a fuel issue. No, no, no. What's up, what's up? It's another day. I'm gonna change the spark plugs and see how the engine is on the inside. 90% chance it's got bad piston rings. There's also that 10% chance somebody did screw up putting this engine back together. I pulled all the spark plugs. This is what they look like. They got a lot of oil on them. But since I'm here, I'm gonna do a compression test, see if uh, where where the engine's sitting at. I pulled the fuel relay up in the back. compression test the first two cylinders were fine the last two cylinders they came up a bit short so um, I, I actually I want to retest these two cylinders again because I feel like I didn't crank it enough so yeah here we go hopefully this cylinder That's a very interesting compression reading that I got right there. I'm gonna go and grab some new spark plugs, gap them all the same, and come back, pop them in the car, and see if she will crank over. The rain has stopped. 
It's time to put some spark plugs in. Okay, spark plugs are all in. <clears throat> Fuel pump is back in. Let's go give this a crank. That took forever. I thought the car was done. It probably took me about a good five minutes trying to crank this thing over. I don't know what is wrong with it. It's just weird. Now it's running fine. Because of this pulley right here. This pulley is loose. Anyway, you can see when I touch the gas. So I noticed a couple of things. First of all, I was just checking it out, and right there, it looks like I have a gas leak. Can you see that? Yep, there we go. This thing right here is leaking, so that's probably most of my starting problems coming from that thing right there. I was screwing around with a car and basically figured out that fuel distributor relay or whatever is bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's leaking. I took it out, cleaned it, put it back in, and this is what it looks like. So obviously you see residue right there from a leak. I'm going to go ahead and take the fuel distributor apart and see if I can clean it up better. I'm not going to take it all apart. I'm just going to take it off and see what's going on underneath. I took it all out. I looked at it, I cleaned it up, it looks pretty good, all the little injectors seem to be doing pretty good. I had a problem with this unit leaking, so I'm making a little gasket for it out of double sided tape. It had these little o-rings, but they, they look like they're in good shape, but I guess it wasn't making a good enough seal. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and put everything back together okay guys spent a bunch of time cleaning stuff i cleaned up all this i cleaned up that made myself a little catch can right there yeah i'm gonna get a fire extinguisher and try to fire this up Let's see how it goes <laughs> I started the car, I don't know how, because I'm an idiot. I forgot to take the tape off the intake manifold, piston or whatever, stupid. And I forgot to tighten this, so I have gas everywhere now. But I'm gonna try that again and see how it goes. My homemade little catch pan is getting all foggy, which means there's a bunch of emissions going on in there. So basically, whatever I did didn't really help. It's still having a problem starting. Um, next step, I went, got a new fuel filter for the 190. I'm gonna bring up the car, I'm gonna change the fuel filter, and maybe that will solve my fuel issues. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's get that going.
There we go. Yeah. She runs. Got a flat. I'll deal with that flat tire in a bit. Right now I just lifted the car up so I could get to the fuel pump. Yep. Fuel pump is all the way in the back. Fix that wheel. Fix this wheel. The spare had a hole in it. Ah, sketchy, but it's okay. We'll see if that works. Yeah, so now I'm gonna flip the car around so the back is on the little stands so I could get down there and work it easier. Got the back of the car up. If you go down here, there it is. Bam, bam, bam. So this thing is leaking again. I guess my gasket didn't work. Here's the old fuel filter. There's a new one. Fuel pump's working. I'm gonna turn it off and see if she'll crank, dude. Here we go. Not bad, better. I don't know. Okay guys, sort of figured out my issue. This guy right here. I just cleaned it up, made another gasket for it. The one that I made out of double-sided tape melted away, but now since I created an actual gasket, watch how fast it cranks over. Pretty fast. Only thing is, it leaks and the internals are bad so that piece does need replacing and it's giving me a rough idle. But every time I turn the key it cranks over. Look. Perfect. Look. is when we go out here and we look at it that thing is leaking so that was my problems and that needs to be replaced but the catch can I made uh, so that thing got fixed a lot of trial and error but when you don't have the proper equipment you have to do a lot of trial and error hopefully I figured it out I'm gonna try and order that piece but for now she's good so I'm happy thank you guys for watching till next time Peace.